In the busy 21st century, getting from A to B in the safest and most efficient way is becoming increasingly important. However, with ever-depleting non-renewable sources such as oil, a number of companies are looking into more sustainable methods of transportation. One such example is hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Hydrogen is the lightest element on the periodic table, but it's certainly the catalyst for powerful change in the tech industry as an alternative to battery-powered vehicles. The electricity is generated by combining hydrogen with the outside air, which then creates a chemical reaction producing electricity. And two giants of the motor industry have already adopted the technology. The revolutionary Toyota Mirai is the world's first mass-produced fuel cell saloon vehicle, powered by the Toyota fuel cell system. Japanese automotive manufacturer Toyota tested its hydrogen-powered Mirai in the United Arab Emirates. The region's hot and arid landscape allowed the company to measure the effectiveness of the hydrogen fuel cell technology. However, it's not a solo venture. The company will be partnering with UAE-based green energy companies as well as utility providers to get a realistic grasp of the logistics of implementation. And they're not the only company worried about reducing their carbon footprint. Hyundai is committed to improving the environmental impact of our vehicles. The car from Hyundai was the world's first production model hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. The company boasts world-leading zero emissions technology and they believe the innovation takes a giant but viable step towards an alternative to the internal combustion engine. And Hyundai have even promised the smoothest ride ever. IX35 fuel cell gives you no compromise in performance, so comparable with conventional diesel or petrol technology, they're far in advance of current EV technology. And the 100 kilowatt fuel cell stack and 24 kilowatt battery can also reach a top speed of 100 miles an hour. However, it isn't just on the roads where the future of green travel has been implemented. There have also been some significant developments in aviation. Last year, the Solar Impulse completed an impressive round-the-world trip using solar energy. The plane travelled over 40,000 kilometres, visiting the UAE, China, India, Japan, the USA, Spain and Egypt, all without using a single drop of fossil fuel. In March 2017, the European Union announced it will partner with the team that made the first solar-powered flight. And the collaboration hopes to come up with a thousand energy-efficient solutions by the end of 2018. However, surprisingly, it's not just planes that are flying. With roads around the world getting busier by the day, some companies are working on innovative solutions to help people beat the traffic. Recently, it was announced that Dubai had carried out test runs of a one-person electric flying car. Named the e -Hang 184, the machine was successfully flown across the city. The company claims passengers don't even need a pilot's license as the automated vehicle is operated by the press of a button. The vehicle takes off vertically, gliding through the air as it transports passengers from point A to B. But they're not the only company pioneering this new technology. At the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, Airbus unveiled their pop-up flying car concept. And the modular air and ground passenger vehicle consists of three main components. A carbon fibre passenger capsule, battery-powered ground module and an air module electrically propelled by eight counter-rotating rotors. General Manager at Airbus Urban Mobility, Matthias Thompson, is excited about what it means for the future of travel. 
I think it'll be incredible. Um, you're in your capsule. Um, you don't have to go in and out. It's integrated. It's seamless. It'll be the most pleasant way of getting around town, getting to the airport. Um, I think it will be irresistibly nice. Passengers will be able to plan their journey and book a flight using a simple app. The system then suggests the best mode of transport according to trip specifics and passenger preferences. And again, no pilot's license is required. It's operated by a platform. Um, we're thinking uh, request via your app or other devices. Uh, we have wearable technology which identifies you when you get in. Uh, you have a big display that tells you what's going on. You get access to your, your own content. You can enjoy your space and take back time while you travel. When the ride is over, the air and ground modules and capsule autonomously return to dedicated recharge stations to wait for new customers. While it's likely to be many years before most of these modes of transport are commonplace, it's certainly exciting to think about how we'll be getting around the planet in the future.